kids, I'm Sarah Andrus. I'm from Eastern Nazarene College and I'm here to teach you all about the basics of an amazing habitat, vernal pools. Vernal pools are wetlands that hold water for part of the year and are dry for the other part. Because they are sometimes dry, fish cannot live there. So frogs and salamanders use these pools to lay their eggs and let their young grow up. Vernal pools are also shallow. Most are only three to four feet deep. There are usually a lot of leaves at the bottom from the trees at the edge of the pool. These leaves are a source of energy for the animals that live in these habitats. Hey, can you hear that sound? It sounds a bit like quacking ducks. That sound is actually made by wood frogs. Wood frogs live in the forest near vernal pools and are light brown with dark brown mass between their eyes and eardrums. They look kind of like a raccoon. Wood frogs go to vernal pools in the spring to lay eggs. The eggs look like clear jelly with black and white centers. The eggs hatch into tadpoles that have a lot of gold flecks on their bodies. The tadpoles go through metamorphosis, growing legs and losing their tails and gills. In midsummer, they hop away from the vernal pool to start life in the forest. Would you like to spend most of your life living underground? But that's what spotted salamanders do. These salamanders are gray to black with yellow spots along their back. They spend most of their lives under rocks or in burrows, except in the spring when they migrate to vernal pools to lay eggs. Females lay jelly-like eggs on plant stems, branches, or on the pool bottom. Once the eggs hatch, the larvae go through metamorphosis, growing their legs and losing their gills. The larvae are predators and eat frog tadpoles and small insects. At the end of the summer, the larvae will look like miniature adults and begin their life on land. Did you know that fairy shrimp are invertebrates? They're animals without backbones. They swim on their backs by waving their many legs. They also use their legs to help them collect and eat dead plant material. Fairy shrimp don't live for very long, just a few short weeks. They lay eggs on the bottom of the vernal pool. These eggs can withstand long periods of dryness and will hatch when the pool fills up with water. Okay, let's see what you've learned. I'm gonna ask you four questions about vernal pools and we'll see if you can answer them. All right, here's your first question. Which animal is not found in vernal pools? Is it A, salamanders, B, frogs, or C, fish? If you answered fish, you are correct. Fish cannot live in vernal pools because they go through periods of dryness. Question number two. Spotted salamanders live underground for most of their lives. Is this true or is this false? If you answer true, you got it right. Spotted salamanders live most of their lives underground and only come out to vernal pools in the spring to lay eggs. Ready for question number three? Adult male wood frogs make a sound that is similar to what other animal? Is it A, a cow? B, a duck, or C, a lion. Hear that? Sounds like a duck and you got it right. All right, here's your final question. Fairy shrimp swim on their bellies. Is this true or is this false? If you answered false, you are correct. Fairy shrimp swim on their backs. Way to go. Looks like you're on your way to becoming a great ambassador for vernal pools. Enjoy the rest of your time in the EcoZone. We'll see you next time.